We are recording. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and call the May 31st, 2022 meeting of the Lyman Charter Commission to order. Vehicle attendance today. Exciting. Um, there's no there's no flag here in here, so thank you for having us on Pledge of Allegiance tonight. Uh, and then our first order of business is to approve the previous meeting's minutes, which I don't be able to set out. Everyone get those? Mm -hmm. I guess. I have one change. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd like to to be noted in the minutes that I didn't that I voted against that. Fess, is that the one where we had the uh, vote on the uh, the ordinance? Is that the one? Is that what we're talking about? I, it was April twenty eighth. I didn't send it to myself, so let me find. Okay, that was earlier meeting. I thought that was an earlier meeting too. I did too. Maybe I'm incorrect. <laughs> it does happen occasionally. Sometimes mm -hmm. my wife. I'm huh. I need to delay things. All right. We talked about tables ordinance review. Yes, I think it was Don because we we talked about it's it. Not all members were present, and then by the end of the meeting. Here, mm -hmm. the vote was seven to two. Seven to I just like would like my name noted as as uh, dissenting. If that's okay. I mean, just in the minute. I'm not saying have to know anybody else. I'm just saying me. Yeah, I think. I yeah, I think that's important as well. Just to note who was opposed to it. I never, I never kept track of it. It was the other one, so okay. Yes, if you don't mind. I mean, otherwise, I make a motion to accept the minutes of April 21st, 28, 2022, as amended. Second. Any further discussion on those? All in favor? Aye. 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 I guess we did all that way quicker than I anticipated. So, um, our attorney is scheduled to come for 6.30. He knows we're meeting here at the library. <laughs> I did attach to, each, well, attach, I pass out with each person's agenda. Um, just a copy of the questions that were submitted. I think I emailed these a little while ago. These are just physical copies. His answers um, are in red. And so the purpose of having him come tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, yeah, and so the purpose of having him come here tonight is just so that everybody has an opportunity to ask either any additional questions, ask clarifying information on the questions that we've already presented and the answers he's provided um, to just make sure that everybody has the opportunity and it's clearly documented and all of our eyes started and T's crossed while we wrap this up. So. You want to get on this? Or not. Um, we can, yeah. I mean, there's some of them are fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if anyone's willing to lead the way. What's <laughs> that? If, if you want to lead the way through that, I just like. Okay, the questions, so we had eight questions. Okay, one was pretty obvious. You can be more restricted. All right, no issues there, right? Yes. Um, the second one, it sounds like it was about employees and volunteers, language, blah, 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 blah. And he said no. Basically. Yeah, that was that was so the I think that's pretty easy. obvious too, or yeah. not obvious, but um <clears throat> oh, yeah, straightforward. Um oh yeah, revision versus amendment. Uh, your favorite. Yeah, I don't know. This thing always confuses me. And we Just, can clarify, we can clarify that with him when he's yeah, here. Okay, too. all right. Um number four. That sounds like he affirmed our decision to put in the RSU. So yes. That's a, that's a yes. That was no big deal. And then the five is property rights. Um, hmm, this is one where I think we need to talk to him about because uh, he says it's confusing and needs work. Um, maybe he's right about that simple reference to this Maine and state 
constitutions. I don't know. Uh, six, he sounds like he agreed with us to have two versions, right? Yeah. Okay, seven, uh, he didn't agree. <laughs> Um, I don't think he agreed, but uh, basically, I think that was I was pushing that one, and that would be just a question as to uh, uh, issues that might cause people not to vote for the charter. In other words, uh, what I would call I call controversial issues. I'm not saying that what I was saying was correct as far as the only things, but um, so that's an issue, and I, I saw the ones. Well, depending on what we end up with the ordinance writing, where I thought that might be controversial, I thought the uh, term limits for selectmen would be possibly controversial. Uh, the town manager, of course, is is a right. major change in government, so that has I would think that has to be two questions. Sure. So I don't know if there's anything else. So I actually then I guess I would have it. The, the town manager would be one. Mm -hmm. um, well, would that be one because it's just one of them is what's and one is without? Well, that's what I mean. There's two articles, right? So you can't you can't I mean you if 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 both if both passed the the effect would be uh you have a town manager in the charter and because the wording except for town manager well that's a good question to I me mean, i i would assume if they both passed <laughs> you, yeah that's you, that's, that's interesting it's it all in how it's that would think about that well, yeah that was for my computer that might yeah be that's a good came point. on any of the ones we were going to work separately yeah. so town manager not town manager we have two versions right so that right. to me is like one or the other the right. other right. yeah but suppose uh, both pass one, but the other um sort of issues or controversial ones yeah. that we were talking about if one doesn't pass what goes in its place yeah that will that's yeah, where that's i'm getting a, a little stuck i feel like it's one room yeah. or the other my thought is the percentage of people that will sit down and read this charter before they vote and understand any controversial issues is like maybe a half a percent. So I think even going down that road is um, confusing the issue. And a lot of people, if they don't understand it, they vote no. Yeah, and I think if you start having multiple, oh, is this cookie here and this cookie here, and then they're just like, well, no to everything. And that's what I'm afraid you're gonna get to with our hurry voters, like too much to read, not doing it, no, no, no. That's my concern there right. is people wanting, you know, not wanting to stay in that booth forever, but want to mark something are more apt to probably vote no, no. Mm -hmm. than they are to read it and try to understand it at that moment. I think we're going to have enough of a problem figuring out how to how to have the warrant read with town manager or without so that they don't vote yes on both or no on both. I mean, there's got to be some way of is there not a way that it can be written to just say like town manager and no town manager? If we were to go that route. Yeah, well, I think, it, yeah, right. it's how we write it. Either you you approve this with the town manager yeah. or approve it, but you approve it anyway. <laughs> right, you're approving one, one, one or, or the other. other. Well, you got to give them a chance to, to vote no on yeah. both. Yeah, but that, well, that's what I mean. No, I don't know. I mean, yes. maybe I'm overplaying it. I, I'm not trying to, I, it just worried me that, you know, we put in term limits for, or elected positions. Now, is that controversial? I don't know. Only if they read it. And if they don't bother to read it, right. they're not interested I, in it. I think we're going to have enough meetings in advance. And I think we, were, right. I think we all talked about handing out flyers and yeah. having meetings that I really, the ones that are paying attention will be informed and then they have to make that personal choice. Okay, is this a hill to die on for me? Or is it worth it to try it for 10 years like this? I, you know, I, that's, that's my view anyway, is that it's just people are going to have to make that personal decision is the ones that are paying attention. You know, this is this where I just let all go back of the window, keep it the way it is, or do I go for change? Well, majority rules. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is about the ordinance, which I, I do obviously feel strongly about. And we'll see what he has to say there, but uh, about how hard it is to change the ordinance. Because actually, the way it's written now, I would suggest that it's harder to change an ordinance than it is to change the charter. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I think it's harder to change an ordinance than it is to change the charter. And to me, that is not right. But then that's my opinion. That doesn't mean it has to be your opinion. Did I, did I overplay that one or not? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only answer to myself that's not my opinion. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then let's see what the lawyer has to say. But, oh, you know, that, that was the one that, that's still bugging me, obviously. Not, not that I would, you know, I'm not taking it personally. Not me. Not me. Anyhow, I'm not on that.
They can't see me. Can they? Well, they can hear you. Oh. 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 I think that there's no mirror there anyway. So I think we're good. Anyway, so that so I don't know. I mean, what else do we? So we have to wrap this. What do we have to do? We have to get get these resolved, and then and then yellow highlighted areas. That we yeah, we have a couple of yellow highlighted areas that we when we edited last week. Oh, the projector. Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, I think after we meet with the lawyer, we're gonna need to have a, another meeting anyway. All so, right. Um, okay. Because we had a couple yellow sections that we the one that the email okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. he's just removing a line like a yeah I mean and hopefully he can look at that and point being as we just found some things that were we needed to talk to, about together we were in a workshop and it wasn't a place to make any decisions to change I, I think they were relatively minor in the grand scheme of things but it was something that everybody needed to be present for Michelle do you have those ones up at all so that we can just at least Really briefly. I'm not gonna actually you know what I printed a color version. I I did print a color, but it's towards the end. Oh, okay, uh, so one of them that we talked about is percent we were gonna add a nine point four. Come on, everybody's here, all waiting for you. <laughs> waiting to talk to you. I'm glad I was going to say, he's on time. He's on time. <laughs> Perfectly on time. I'm glad I didn't go to the uh, mall. There's, uh, there's a public hearing. You can attend. Good. You've been working hard, I see. Yeah, yeah welcome. Thank you so much for being here. So I have shared the initial answers to the questions that we originally submitted to you with everybody in this room. And then what we wanted to do was just invite you in um, so that if you have any clarification that you want to share with us, and then also just allow everybody on the committee the opportunity to ask any additional questions that they have of you so that everybody has that opportunity. Um, we are recording on YouTube, the YouTube channel once we get going. Um, just so that it's recorded for sure. purposes. And so everything. streaming is just recorded. You're on the, you got the camera. Right now, just said, right now I'm just recording on Zoom. It'll be uploaded to okay. each player so town people can understand where we made decisions. Where you're the best way. person for <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Um I guess it would, it would help me if I had a, if someone give me about a three minute update of where we, we are at this snapshot in time. Sure. I've reviewed the two versions of the charter yeah. so where are we and where do you think is there any kind of consensus or is a group so with those with the two versions the intention is yeah. to have two versions because one is with a town manager and one is without right so we would like to pose that as a as a yeah. either or because we know some mm -hmm. people are we know that's going to be a hot topic for uh voters that, so at that point, both of our versions, I think, are pretty solid as far as we have not made any content, like significant content changes as the versions that we sent to you the last, the most recent time. Mm -hmm. um, and we've went, we've worked through just some grammatical and clerical editing process just to really kind of finalize the two drafts. And at this point, we're just looking to finalize some of our questions with you. And some of those questions include sort of how do we how do we move forward as far as how we put this forward to the voters? Right. Um, uh, I understand the idea to have two options, but is there one option presented at first and then the second option later? Or uh, how, is that what you had in mind? So right now we've done our preliminary report and we've, we've submitted both versions. And so how would the voting work then? And that's what we were kind of just discussing and just almost looking to you for some guidance. If you had any I in think that that's to that. awkward to, yeah. to say, what if they both passed? Mm -hmm. so I'm just I think that that's, that's yeah. problematic. I mean, if you, um, mm -hmm. if they both failed, we do understand what the result was. Mm -hmm. um, and I think otherwise you can get into almost like a rank choice type of thing. Like right. who you have like three options, fail, pass one, pass two, whichever gets the most. 
I don't, that, that seems a little um, mm-hmm. awkward to me. Yeah. Well, well, the last time in 15, when we did this, we had what we called editorial changes, which were just all changes to that were not supposed to be controversial to the charter. And then we had a version that had that added the town manager on top of that. So in other words, you could vote for the editorial changes if you wanted to. I and can see that. Then you um, had, uh, then you, if you wanted for the town manager to be included, you could vote that. Because um, the statute does talk about the ability to vote on specific minor provisions um, individually, but it'd be up or down. Like, mm-hmm. do you want to add this mm-hmm. particular thing? Yes or no. Right. Um, not this thing or that thing. Mm-hmm. It's not a, like a, a menu. Do you want chicken or <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, uh, so you could add up or down. Do you want to add this provision, a recall provision? So just making mm-hmm. something out of off my head. Would it be possible to uh, word it such that if the uh, the wording such that if the town manager version version passes, uh, it could be stated that this would uh, not supersede, but would uh, take precedence over the vote of just quote editorial changes. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. I, it, 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 what you're saying is there could be the editorial changes, but if the if the Town manager version takes over, then none of the previously voted upon things are in full force of effect. Well, no, they would if the town manager version they, that that version would include the editorial changes, although right. not exactly the same because the uh, editorial changes, for example, don't uh, in, they don't include any wording about town manager, but but the town manager version includes all the other changes that are made. Is that am I saying that right? We've got more than just editorial changes. Yeah, we've got, got some whole, serious yeah. structural changes. Well, like, if they're editorial, you could probably get those as amendments too. If they really, truly are minor um, right. things that, yeah. that, that wouldn't be considered revisions, they could come under the amendment. We've talked about that before. That was well, we took yeah. out section six completely. Yeah, one yeah. the town manager completely gone. The little things you don't want to have happen is, is have the voters say, "I was so confused." Yeah. I didn't know what to do when I got down. And we were just discussing that area. as well. That's where you were at. Legal thing. Hey, I didn't get this. And I was like, oh, yeah. you know, I didn't know what to say. I ended up voting yeah. no yeah. all or I voted, yeah. I, I voted blank. I mean, people do that because they get mm-hmm. confused. Or, yeah. You know, they were, I don't know, you can't write in something. <laughs> but the only the danger if you just put in one version is the town manager is controversial. I, mean, I don't think there's any question about that, at least in my mind. So if you, if you put forth just a version with the town manager, which includes all the other changes, and that fails, the, then we're then, done. Then, you, then you're stuck with the version that, that you currently have, which you don't like. But why mm. couldn't you just come back in six months and say, OK, we learned our lesson? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I think oh. that would be difficult. So. Right. So every, everything has to be a, a yes or no. There's no pick well, one. <laughs> And I just brought up the way that it was, way the warrant was written in 16 when this went to vote. And so Article 7 is started with, shall the town approve the town charter modifications? And then parentheses says, makes editorial changes recommended by charter commission, summarized below. So this is just the current charter with editorial changes for clarity. And there's yes or no. And of course, there was some blanks. Then the next one was, shall the town approve the town charter amendment, parentheses, adopting a town manager form of government recommended by the charter commission summarized below. Again, a yes or no. Then shall the town approve charter modification, appointing a replacement to complete the term of an elected official recommended by a summarized below. So these are all yes or no's. Mm-hmm. Uh, shall the town approve town charter modification, process to change from an elected to appointed official and vice versa. Recommended below. So the town approved the town charter modification, appointing a candidate to an elected position when a writing candidate does not receive a minimum of 25 votes. Yes or no. Uh, shall the town approve town charter modifications, sets requirements for ethical behavior of town officials and employees? Again, it's yes or no. Those are very short summarizations of those, but, but to the well, point. What, I mean, the way you said that, that makes more sense to me yeah. that, that it's up or down on. Um, Let's just say, top of my head, five different things. Right. One, do we want, most importantly, do we want to have a town manager? Right. Um, if, if the voting voters say yes, 
And that town manager, I assume, is pretty discreet paragraph that comes in. It doesn't really wreck up the rest of it. Is it pretty? Is it pretty much plug and no. play? Or no, it's we, it's we, it's it's we, yeah, there's whole the major change. change. Oh, you know, why couldn't we write the question to say, do you favor one of the three options? Option one with a checkbox, revision to the to the town charter to include a town manager. Option two, revision to a town the town charter without a town manager. Option three, none of the above. Hmm. Well, that's what I yeah, that's what I was asking. Hmm. You know, can you have does it have to be a yes or no for one question? Oh, that's a good. That's a good thought. I I, I think that having it's it's almost like your second choice. Uh, you know what? You 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 favor a, what if they both pass? I guess I mean it, it's like only the question two without the town manager is really relevant. Or question one doesn't pass. Well, they both can't pass because they've got to pass for ten percent of the gubernatorial election or for any of them. Well, you could get ten percent on both. You could. Well, could you could you indicate could that? You? You have 100% yeah, we, voting like well, no, it's actually yes. thirty. Not well, could you 30. could you oh, have one is. of the questions be um, passing the town charter with edit, you know editorial changes, blah blah, retaining the selectman form of government? No. Mm -hmm. Second one, same thing, editorial changes with a town manager. But what I'm hearing, but I haven't looked manager. at it. What I'm hearing is that the the two the town manager is just not a plug and play insert cut and paste that right. goes in. That they're all they're separate, sort of like organic, like like I don't know what an analogy would be, like yeah. pieces of artwork. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. just like a sticky that you're putting on one right. that says town manager. That they function fundamentally differently. Right. Very much. I mean, I mean, again, I, it gets back to the the simplicity, and if you overthink this, it's going to backfire on you. But yeah. what, what Rod was suggesting that the question, I think he was suggesting that the person could not vote for both. In other words, it's it would say there or. vote for one or the other or none. So in other words, you got three choices, and if the if the person marked, let's say the person marked yes mm -hmm. on all three. It vote that that and then you got something that doesn't strong. pass that, with that, the majority of the out. votes. That's problematic too. Well, you get you, 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 get, you get thirty percent. I mean, say thirty say no, and twenty nine say yes. Town manager and thirty two percent. I mean, you got to think about that. Yeah, so theoretically, you could end up with six hundred people voting for the charter, six hundred people voting for no charter. Mm -hmm. Six hundred is our is our. Cut off. Well, whatever the number is. Yeah, but yeah. But, but then the one with the most votes wins. Well, what, well um, looking at this, what? what Jessica just read, Article 7, when you when for 2016, was shall the town approve the town charter modifications, makes editorial changes recommended by the Charter Commission and summarized below. That passed mm -hmm. 302. Oh, right, right. Well, the next one down is the town manager one. That also passed. Right. But not with enough votes mm -hmm. based on the last couple of Exactly. No, but, but it they both passed. Oh, yeah. but the point so is if it did, both would so, no, so you ended up we ended up with a version because of the the uh, attack, the report had a version uh with editorial changes only. The second version had it had the town manager part in there. I think it said in there that it may have said the editorial changes are not included in this version. So uh, in other words, you could, it, they were complementary. If they both passed. You, which they did, not enough votes, but they both passed. You'd end up with a would have ended up with a town manager, and the editorial change. So, could you have one article that just states editorial changes for for either version, yes or no, and then the second article being town yeah, manager, town manager. board, is your choices. So I, I I don't know. I think it seems like that's like four versions. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. the hard part. So it's like, I don't know why not. The simplest thing to do is one is just give them one option. That's what I would say. Oh, uh, okay. But then well, if it goes down, yeah. when it goes down, then it goes down. You should, I mean, you did hard work and they, you, did, you know, you <laughs> gave them a choice. And it, well, maybe, and goes, we you know, and then that's the will of the people. I mean, there were, and then you could maybe in a year you come back and put the other one up. Maybe we should pr propose just the without town manager. 
then the mean? up or down, oh. and then at some later time, we can do that. Oh, kind of oh, you could say half a loaf is better than nothing. Uh, an improved charter is better than one that maybe goes sort of all the way I to a place that sounds like it's controversial. Okay. Well, yeah. which we have to, I mean, when's the final, final, like, final, June 8th? June 8th, June 8th June that's when we turn it. Turn in, it's supposed to be turned. We have, so. That's not nine months, so for your preliminary report. Yeah, no, for the final. Preliminary. Final, final report. report. Well, you're, you're a year. You're a year. We are, we have the option of requesting an extension. You can go up to 24 months for the. the well, but then you got to get an extension from the selectman. The last time they wouldn't get one. That was, of course, that was a different board. And I really prefer not. Different to, board. We don't have to. If well, there's a legitimate reason. Okay. What's the idea to get this on November? Yeah. 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 It'll go to November anyway. If we submit it on June 8th, it'll go to a November election unless there's right. a special election between now and then. Right. Which is possible, but this election hopefully would not do that. But you never yeah, know. November's if, good because if, if we needed extra time, could we do it at a special election after November? No. We'd never get no, the no, votes. Right. No, we'd never get the votes. votes. And even, I think even if we, were, if we needed and requested and were approved for an extension, I still think we could get it. To the November election, oh, I would hope. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's going to be a way to do it. I'm, I'm having a hard time why this wouldn't work. Okay. Same question. <laughs> why, why wouldn't it work? Because he has the boxes <laughs> with Tom Manager. With I, I mean, unless there was a tie. Yeah, it's, not a, 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 it, it, it's like if you vote one, you can't vote for the subsequent ones. Um, you vote two, you can't vote for the other. It, it's it's going to be confusing, and you could end up with a um, less than majority vote, oh, you could. Uh, and, and I think that that is problematic too. Um, it, you know, it's, it's a three-way contest, and this is basically sort of majority rule. It's not like an election from you know. Right. Let's not talk about elections, but if you have, <laughs> um, three or four candidates, sometimes right. the, you know a candidate can get on. into twenty percent of the vote. You know, oh. less than yeah, that majority. would that could be a problem because you're dividing the vote up there. Right. So that yeah. was three choices. Right. Yeah. Three choices. Yeah. Then some will put none. You know, I mean, some of them won't even vote anything. They'll say, I didn't understand it. Yeah. And you're going to have to write all these things on it. Like, you got to get the 30%. Right. I, I just really That's think that account. we should, we made some important changes. And I think we should go with the, just get get this thing passed and worry about the town manager at some later date. Yeah, yeah it's not, there's it a, it a time for everything and incremental change and in like, you know, history, wow. you, know, you get, yeah, yeah in, in small steps sometimes. Yeah, I don't think we'll survive without a year. Yeah, it's fine. Put up the town manager and say, okay, next November we'll put up the town manager. Yeah, it's just to really encourage people to get out to vote. You're really going to. And like we said, push the message beforehand. Mm -hmm. Get out whenever we can, the information to the people. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right. the thought. You so can always push the other version. At the next election, if you know what I mean, there's just yeah, I, I think it is really good reason to have two versions. Yeah. You should have thought of that. <laughs> I, <laughs> know, I, the oh, oh, yeah. I did. I think I can go back with the videos before we see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's a point that we'll uh, discuss. Uh, um, what okay. other um, questions sort of we random need to questions? Um, yeah, I thought your questions were good and showed a lot of depth. I mean, there were some some that um, I didn't mean to come off as super opinionated, but I think you want your attorney to have an opinion. Yes. You know, yeah. you're, you know not be like you know a politician and says, "Well, could do this, could do that." I'll give no, you I an answer that, yeah, right. somehow, but I just said, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, there's not a ton of law on charters in Maine, mm -hmm. and if you like, so if you if you did like a Google type search, I have a special a search engine charters main. It's just not like a ton of cases. Um, and if you get on the main municipal uh, association website, yeah. which as you know, services all these towns, uh, you probably have access to that. Yeah. I mean, there's some nice articles on there, but it's, it's not a, a, a an abundance of guidance really as, as far as that goes. Yeah. So sort of normal election law uh, applies um, pretty much. And again, what you don't want to have happen is people saying that was sort of botched because we, we didn't understand it. Yeah. And, and, and people like simplicity. And I'm not taking a side on this. 
Um, but I do know that just sort of generally, you know, speaking that um, then they say, well, who advised you to do that? You know, and, well, yeah. you know but not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, then all of a sudden somebody, you know, retired lawyer gets out there and says, you know, well, we're going to bring this action against the town and try to invalidate the thing because somebody's mm. working for free or so you don't want that either. I'm not right. saying it's going to happen, but crazier things have happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so where does that leave us? Yeah, where does that leave us? <laughs> What's up to you? Where does all that leave us? <laughs> well, well, I think I think this time with their word is to ask questions, and then I think we have a lot of conversations. Yeah, like a yeah. 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 So, Maybe you want to email me or call me later or something. Yeah, like that. Right. I, think, I think addressing number eight, and figuring yeah. out yeah. how that is That's five, because that was in the reply was five. Yeah, right. Property right. Okay, yeah. that's the one about the two thirds vote to change an ordinance. Yep. Yeah. I mean, where did, what was the genesis of that? I mean, I don't think that you go around any town. Um, I I could be wrong, but I don't think any town. I can't think of another town in the state that says that any zoning ordinance takes a two thirds vote. To, to well, that means it's harder to change. In my opinion, I maybe I'm wrong. You, it's harder to change an ordinance than it is to change a charter because. To change the charter, you don't need two thirds. But there's vote. a government that's pretty much based on um, the, the you know, majority, majority rule. rule. I mean, I, I, I think that, no, anyway. that every ordinance, I mean, you know, it, it is a two thirds super majority. I've seen that in some cases, like say in Robert's Rules of Order, it takes two thirds to um, reconsider an item that's been voted right. um, down. But that's a rule of order. But basically, right. sort of the democratic concept of a up or down, you. You know, we've seen elections where people win by seven votes, but they win by, you know, seven votes. So yeah. is that the only portion you find that possibly could, of that anyways, because there, there was also the getting 125 mm -hmm. signatures, but was it mainly the two-thirds vote that kind of made it where it was a little like... I, I think the two-thirds vote, uh, okay, I'm not sure. Okay, that's indicating... Yeah, you want to give them the, you need a page or... Um, I have the email... Questions for attorney. This is, this is the oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, these proposals might explicitly tell the legal terms. We need to see the, the actual language that we have. Well, the 125 signatures, I don't know really what is intended by that. To, to slow the process down. Okay, so basically an ordinance is changed by a um, I I think it's like the planning board uh, mm -hmm. making a proposal, mm -hmm. the selectman making a proposal, mm -hmm. or the citizens coming forward with yeah. a, a petition. A, a petition. Right. And the petition's got to be just right. You know, the signatures have to be verified. Mm -hmm. uh, this idea of just having 125 signatures on a home, no. homemade. No, no, no. no they, would be, they would be a petition. If it would be a petition, uh, it, would be, it would be either presented by the select board the Ordinance Review Committee or the uh, Planning Board. In the end, the Ordinance Review Committee would go out and get 125 signatures and bring it back to select. I've never seen anything like that. Probably not. And I don't recommend have you, it. Have, have you ever been on the opposite end of the powers to be pushing through an ordinance to go against? A fair question, though, like I ever... Like been in a real world, um, you know, <laughs> and that's a fair question because I live in my little world, which I you know, travel around, it, which is different to being in the town where you're actually experiencing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you want to be a trendsetter in terms of a, 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 a style of an ordinance or a, a, a practice that is unlike any other one around. The idea of going and getting a bunch of signatures to also back up a recommendation of a planning board or ordinance review is just something that's totally foreign to me. And I think uh, somebody could easily say that there's no basis for it under statutory law. I mean, the home rule authority of the town is quite broad. I mean, we all agree on that. But I think you're going into a place there that um, is not, um, it's, it's awkward. And, and, I, and again, I, I think that you're, you could be setting yourself up <laughs> for a problem. I mean, I mean the, the bottom line is that the, the checks and balances on this is that the selectmen don't have the authority 
it's like board, I don't know what we call that here, but this like board doesn't have the authority to pass an ordinance under this form of government. It was a council, they do. So the checks mm -hmm. and balances, the voters, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, they yeah. vote. I mean, if they, and, and I know what happens. It only, a small percentage of only usually comes out. Mm -hmm. But um, they'll come out if they really think it's important. And it depends on what the issue is. Oh, I think that was one of the reasons why we moved all the voting to November. Right. Changes. That was a, that's a change in November there. Because that is our largest turnout. Sure. And we had, we had a very hot topic ordinance here that I worked voting polls. Yeah. I think 198 people turned out when it has the kids. And wow. it was literally split. Yeah. But it was mainly people on both. It was it was unfortunate and it was really sad that it was that small turnout. Um and that close said what are you what is you know, you gonna do? You know. Right? We have four thousand something here. Four thousand registered. Yeah, four thousand yeah. or something. Oh, no, four thousand forty five hundred. Yeah, or population, 4, 000. 000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, population yeah. Um so originally this was fifty signatures. That seems more reasonable to you? Is that I mean, is, it, be, is it in there now? You got to go out and get 50. No. No. Isn't it? No, 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 no. That was our original change. You don't have to get signatures now. You don't have to go out. So where did the 50 come from? Our original conversation. Our original and then, conversation. And then we bumped it to 125. Yeah, it's 25 if it's, if it's citizen. Petition. Petition, petition, petition yeah. yes. 25. Yeah. But if it comes from the select like board or the, yeah, board, the planning, board. planning board, it doesn't have to go get signatures. Well, I mean, I'm not. Anyway. I've always said my piece 12 times. So talk about it again. Say it again. Yeah, yeah, we should. We should, I think. Yeah. Well, I want you, well, you know, to dress for success here. We, we, you know, we want this yeah. to go, right. go well and not have somebody say that, you know, you went out and created a... Well, we don't want to do... I don't think... And, I don't think anybody right. wants to do something that's going to possibly lead to a challenge. I mean... Right. I mean, it just that doesn't make sense to me. But then I happen I have an opinion that's different than some than most people here. So I mean, there are people that different. You know, there's lawyers that you know just do this kind of thing for the heck oh, of it. God, and yes. it's, it's, it's gratifying. So it yeah. could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think the property rights one. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Well, property rights are. Um, in 100 percent embedded in the U.S. Constitution and mm -hmm. the um, Maine Constitution, and nothing that the town can do can limit uh, abridge your rights under the Maine Constitution or the U.S. Constitution. And there's so many ways that property rights comes into play. Um, property cannot be taken without just compensation. Um, you know, there's just any any number of ways, and so the way to um, if the ordinance goes too far, the challenge would be based on constitutional grounds, saying that the, the, the Constitution is, is that violated, most likely. Um, now, I'm not opposed to some sort of uh, introductory language that you put in, and, and introductory language is, is mainly designed to set the tone for what the ordinance mm -hmm. is or the, the charter is. Um, it doesn't exactly, it isn't to be relied on, but I, I think perhaps there could be some language that says every effort has been made to balance uh, property rights of, of, of all, all citizens in town and uh, the needs of sort of efficient you know, town government. I mean, it's, it's a, a balancing you're doing, and I, and I think that you could put that in. I mean, I understand property rights, and, and, and it's the um, the concept of individual property rights in Maine is is like as strong as it is anywhere probably in the country you know, with our our very local form of government, and uh, and I get I get that, um, but um, if you want to do it, I'd say stuff it, stick it in the beginning as a as like a goal, general purpose of. Well, yeah. I think that's all we've done. And we've just made reference to ensuring <coughs> the protection of property rights. I don't think we've actually gone in and said you F can do says, A, B, and C based around yeah, property rights. Yeah, we just said, F says, it shall ensure that any changes to ordinances <coughs> have the utmost respect in consideration for property rights that our ordinances are compliant with the state and federal laws of this charter. Well, that doesn't 
it freaked me out. Okay, good. Yeah. I think it was just maybe the way the question was worded. But... Yeah. So, yeah. We did put that in definition. Oh, property, you want property rights definition? Is that what you want? Property rights, and then somebody else say, what about my individual liberties? And then you can, right. And you, so, you can say due consideration. Of the, you know, the definition we put in, property rights, the legal rights <coughs> that entities have pertaining to real estate resources or creatures they own, the owners, entities, can be people, companies, charities, governments, trusts, etc. The government, and in particular the courts, are obligated to protect property rights and to help their... <laughs> <laughs> is that too dense? I don't like that. I mean, trust, I mean then I, you know, my mind just goes to like, <laughs> like LLCs and, and oh, so, you know, yeah. S corporations. Oh. And, um, you know, one thing I get in some other <clears throat> towns is that we went through this a lot on the water um, um, mm -hmm. extraction. Does the ecosystem have a oh, property yeah. right? Does the ecosystem have a, a right to sue? <clears throat> Does an animal have a right to sue? <laughs> I mean, do they have rights? I mean, it, 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 maybe. I think you could talk about property rights without necessarily giving it that, but a definition, I think almost a definition gets you in trouble. I mean, yeah. Property right. rights is defined by, the, I mean, well, the, you know. So take people, it out, Simpl take simplify it, out. take it out. Yeah, the definition. I mean, if, somebody, yeah. If, 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 if a case comes up and, it, and the feeling is that whatever the town did really stomp on somebody's property rights, if you had some, like, kind of ordinary introductory language, the lawyer could say, you know, from the first paragraph of the charter, it's about yeah. respecting her property yeah. rights, Your Honor. And this is what the people <clears throat> wanted to do. And they wanted to have this, like, um, emphasis on, on this. And, the, and now this town has gone up and done this and the other. It yeah. gives them yes. a little, you know, yeah. leg up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the judge might say, well, what am I supposed to do with that general um, language, and I think the lawyer would say, "Well, it sets the tone, uh, mm -hmm. and and and, the, uh, and and it speaks to what the sort of like the founders, and you're like mm -hmm. the you know, drafters, just you know, like the Constitution. That's sort of in a way because a charter is is an organic document like the Constitution, mm -hmm. and it speaks to what you know was on on your, your mind. Um, right. right. I mean, so I think something like that is is doable. Um, the specific definition just Maybe like, well, well, you want to put this one about that, but you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to, anything that puts a target on your back. Right. Um, another one I want to hear, like, into this, this has happened here. You have this food sovereignty thing and this thing. What, oh, what is the food sovereignty? Yeah. I mean, they, they, something got yes. put in the state constitution. What, what are the limits on that? Yeah. You know? What are they? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Just, I don't want to distract mm -hmm. you, but. You know that LD two zero zero three that passed. Yeah, you mean about the property? Uh, yeah, there's a, that's that's been uh, incorporated now into this uh, to another numbered uh, thing. But anyway, into thirty A. Well, yeah, and it describes it and all that stuff. You're but, talking about the accessory own. Well, I'm talking about the whole thing about density and things like oh, yeah. that, well, and that's something true. that would uh, presumably, I mean, conceivably, could override uh, town charters. Uh, yes, um, and I'm, 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 I'm starting to get it, it. It is what they call preemption. Okay, so mm -hmm. in in the state law, you go to 38, you'll see home rule, and basically right. it says anything that the state um, doesn't preclude you from doing, you can do, subject to the constitution. That's right. the basic municipal law. So now, what the state is saying is, we are precluding you from right. doing this. And there's some other examples, like for example, they regulate hazardous waste. Uh, they regulate certain other, other stuff, you know, like landfills and mm -hmm. uh, other things. And certain things the state has preempted, but this is a gigantic step into the a, a place where no one quite knows where it's going. And and obviously there's reasons for it. And, others, right. and, and if I were sitting in the shoes of any municipal, like Code of Force Monster, our planning board, like, yeah. where, where are we going with this? Um, what does it mean? It looks like it's saying. You can, as long as a single family home is allowed on a lot and there's room for another one uh, within setbacks, you can build it. So that's going to kind of change, change a lot. A lot of people are saying, hooray, finally, you know, like my, my daughter can live with us now and we can build her something in the back of us. Other people are saying it's going to wreck, wreck the neighborhood. I, so it's got a, you know, interesting house. But you haven't seen anything more come out on that yet. So no, too no, soon. I, am, I, know. I am tracking it. It's too soon. Probably yeah, it's, it, and, but it, people are talking about the you know the 
code enforcement officers have their own little oh yeah you know, little, little chatter thing oh, so there's there's it's gonna be a hot mess it's gonna be it's a it's hot gonna, mess right um what where is it uh I, I, yeah, it, it's a, a sh the idea is a sort of an instant shot in the arm and get the housing. I, I, got, a, I got a shot down at something I said, um, affordable housing. And then somebody's correcting me and said, it's not affordable, it's obtainable housing. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, well, anyway, but that's that's coming. That could change yeah. our, our. Okay, uh, so, but the key takeaway besides the substance is that's an example where the state has. Putting in essence, town may not do this. Right. And I've seen people running in a couple of elections. You know, you read in that paper what they stand, you know, their, their thing is. I've seen a couple of people saying this, like sort of stopping this or we're going to overturn it. Yeah. yeah. But it's bad. Well, it's it wouldn't, couldn't it be brought to, to court? And wouldn't the court decide if that is. Well, there probably could be a challenge of it. Uh, yeah. okay. I haven't really thought through what the challenge would be. Um, but but something along the lines that it contradicts the home rule authority and the main constitution embedded in statute that is contradictory. Um, ordinances are presumed to be valid, or, uh, and constitutional statutes are too. So it might be a big lift, but it wouldn't surprise me a bit if somebody challenged it. Um, so that's, it's not really something we should worry about except for like to take property rights out of our definitions, maybe put it at the beginning so that would at least until that hits. Yeah, no, I don't think that you go after the, yeah. that, this in, in what you're doing, but obviously you want to keep your eye on the hall mm -hmm. uh, um, as a town in general about where that's going to lead. And I guess I want to know, if, you know what's going to happen if somebody just walks in the code office and has a simple little plan and says, mm -hmm. I'm putting this three-bedroom accessory house mm -hmm. in... Oh yeah, uh, right, right here. Yeah, would, yeah. would the answer be yes? Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's you're the charter commission. You're not the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or <Thankfully. laughs> right. Or, or, or <laughs> Stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can go for the big bucks and get on the board. Like, you know, so, did, <laughs> so did you answer? I don't know whether. Uh, I'm just going to ask this question again, then, as far as that business on the 125 signatures and the two thirds of the, of the I don't like cast, it, you don't like either one of those. No, uh, so, OK, so that's just a no. Basically. I mean, yeah, that's your that's your opinion. Over my objection. Yeah. Okay. And then. I mean, is that something oh, maybe that's something that we can talk about that if the ordinance review committee decided to put that in their own bylaws. Could they no, do that? I don't think there's a back bylaw. So it wouldn't be. A, no yeah. way back. I mean, it's, it's, it's not an unreasonable question. Right, right. I don't think there's a back end way of coming from the other right. side. Because that was the one area we could barely find any information on for charters was ordinance review committee. Right. A lot of towns don't have them. Right. They don't. Too, so we had. It was barely anything you could find for. I'm pretty things. impressed with what you did find. And you looked at a lot of charters. Yeah, and St. Great. George was our friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were oh. amazing. You took a field trip up there. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, we sent him a thank you charter. <laughs> Your sister community. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They retire there. That's funny. I mean, sometimes we do. It is, what do we, there's something like 430 towns in Maine, and like 80% of them have a charter. Oh, wow. it, 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 it not, a lot of them don't. Right. Yeah. Right. And there's a lot of cutting and pasting going on. Sure. Yeah. 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 What you don't have is cut and paste that says the name of the other town. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 So I did have, um, is that the one that's color? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm borrowing that. No, oh, no, that email one. Yeah. Okay, so this was a question. Um, 
on the first page. The email that I sent to our treasurer, um, Michelle and I are both on the budget committee. Um, and so there is this section here in our current charter um, that talks about uh, yeah. of course now I can't find it's 2.2.2 it. yeah this is the section well you can this is what I copied and pasted okay. from it Hi, Jeanette, our current charter states in 202 Town meetings number two warrant articles except in secret ba ballot articles in the event of an unresolved difference in the amounts proposed by the budget committee and the selectmen, no amount will be inserted into the article and the amount will be determined by popular vote at the town meeting. Uh, meeting. Just curious if this is how it's presented at town meeting or not. Ex okay, except in secret ballots, in the event of an unresolved difference between the budget, no amount will be. Wow. Um, uh, so that's, that's sort of different than how I understand it. contradicts it. The, the sentence above it, which Jeanette's given us the answer. It says articles so, concerning appropriations shall contain the statement of fact, in addition to other information containing in three columns. One showing the appropriation from the current fiscal year, one showing appropriation to the budget committee, and the other for the board. Mm -hmm. That statement of fact is the box, which blew my mind because I was like, it is? And according to Jeanette, there can be no monies listed in the article, which is actually telling you the monies. Like it says here, um, no amount will be inserted into the article. There's not supposed to ever be any money inserted into the article. So what is being said there is contradictory to the first portion of 2.2. Like show, show them the mistake in 2020, Amber. Okay, so she sent over some examples. Yeah, so she sent them over in red. Which is... So I was trying to figure out how to fix, it might be something we need to email okay, you to so, see it. Yeah, so you might just want to take this back. So this was her response um, and she- She's our treasurer. Yeah. She had- like put some sections here answering like what so well the way of, I, I want to take a little breather on that because I want to be really have my feet underneath me yeah. before I answer it's such an important question but the, the way I've seen it everywhere I've gone is it is shall a town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $76,000 to yeah. buy a new police cruiser uh, then it, and they can say a note a select board recommends, but your board doesn't recommend. See, and she yeah. just said that's wrong. You can't list any monies in that article. I, line. I, that's I'm not understanding you. that, and maybe there's something right. that I'm missing, but I'm not understanding that. That's what we're trying the, to the do. only thing is, is, is at wrong. the town meeting, if it's an, um, a non referendum town meeting, there can be a vote to amend that, but not raise it. Mm -hmm. You can right. lower it. You, uh, right. But if you lower it, you can't specify. Say, for example, um, you, um, they wanted to buy a fire truck, and then they said, "Well, this is too expensive." One, I, I, I move that they buy this other model. That can't happen. But what they can do is say, instead of a two hundred thousand dollar, let's make it one hundred fifty. We only appropriate one hundred fifty. Right. So that leaves the select board um, to figure out if they can make the one hundred fifty work, or they got to come back again. I'm not quite sure. I understand what the um, what it's going on here. And so if you could put that in an email to me, I'll, I'll give you yeah. an answer. I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing or I don't understand. No, because uh, I didn't understand it either. I had to call her because I still didn't get it after two or three. I'm like, maybe I'm dense. I'm not understanding. Um, but she said to me that it was also contradictory the way it was listed that in 2020, they put Shell of Town appropriate $71,000 for taxes, et cetera. She said that that money was not supposed to be listed on that line. It was supposed to be put in a statement of fact that box below. So what would it just say? Shell the town appropriate the box below? Or? The, the shell the, the shell they appropriate money for taxes and below would it's be the box with the statement of fact. And that's where I was like, how does this make it a statement? A statement, a statement yeah. of fact to me is... So now they're not listing the money in the article. They're only listing it in the box. 
Mm-hmm. Which is why yeah, we're this all is further out how it'll be. So to see what sum the town will vote. And then this is the statement of fact where the amounts are listed out. Yeah. And so what do you vote then? So we vote on, I guess on the, on the floor, it would be somebody would make a motion to go with either the selectmen's or the budget committee. And then that would be what would be voted on. Right. Um, but there's no money list on the article line, which she said you're not supposed to, but our charter, current charter, current yeah. charter, and actually, even what we're what's being proposed is because still, we didn't change. We didn't change. change that. Does the current charter speak to something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It says what she said in there. Yeah. And this <coughs> so we can send it to you to review before yeah. final report. Oh, so it actually supports her? No, she said it. She said her. She said the charter is wrong. Yeah, oh, oh is it that's why we're so like, that's why we're so confused. Oh, like, okay. Okay. And I think yeah. for purposes so what of this charter, we want to make sure we're not contradicting ourselves. Yeah. So this is the yeah. opportunity to okay. correct so it if it's so. incorrect. I'll, I'll take it to that. Yeah. So okay. what do we okay. forward you the yeah, we can forward yeah. and the current language yeah. in which is gonna be the same language um for that <coughs> hmm. And you can take this if you want. Well, I'll just get it, I'll just get it one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll forward that. Which is under 2.2.2, right, Amber? Well, in, I would probably send them the current. Oh, well, we didn't change that. We didn't change it. So, yeah. We didn't change it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, t- I'll send all that. Thank did, you. Did she just bring this up now? Um, no, no, I brought it up after we were done the whole budget process oh, because oh, okay. reading in what we have currently and it says in there um, except in secret ballot articles in the event of an unresolved difference which there are differences right now between the budget and the select board. The amounts proposed by the budget committee and the selectmen, no amount will be inserted in the article and the amount will be determined by popular vote amendment at town meeting. And that's so, the way we're doing it now. That's in, what are we that's reading? That's in our current, current charter. charter. And we didn't change it. In the right, right. Yeah, we didn't change that. And that's what she it's just, uh, Okay, she's saying when you have a live town meeting, you can do this kind of flexible way if it is a is the annual uh, is there only one annual budget yes and yeah. it's always a live down, down meetings yeah. never a referendum Correct. well we vote referendum two days before so like this year we'll vote but not on the budget not on the yeah, budget, budget. R- we yeah. vote on the rsu budget right yeah think about it but the rest is all done and that's how you'd like to keep it too um, yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah. So what she said was the warrants have been in compliance with the charter since fiscal year 2021. If it's the intention of the charter committee to change the statement of fact, then I would suggest adding a sentence after the description of the statement of fact. This is something like in the event that they disagree and the statement of facts should list X. Let me look at what so, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe it makes a little more sense now, um, but give you some feedback. Yeah, because I was just like, okay, if it is mm-hmm. contradictory and we're yeah. in the process of fixing stuff, like that would be simple time. to change. Right. What okay. should we, I'm still confused. <laughs> Even reading it. I, yeah. Okay. So we can answer that. Uh, other stuff that I could help work. You're going to submit a, a report no matter what. Like, Plan right now. I think we have to have another meeting with some discussions. Maybe so. an extension. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, does anyone else have questions? Or oh, again, you know, thank you for your service. It's not easy. You're pretty impressive. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to get volunteers. I mean, so many towns that can't even get. <laughs> two or three people, so shows, shows a lot. Actually, been fun. Climate's really going. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I buy, this is an Arundel, but the 
shocked to see the Jackson Corner store gone. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, after that, I'm going to wait for a week. That's, that's Harry's now, isn't it? Oh, no, that's, yeah. no, that's, uh, that's the other side. You used to carry a little ceiling in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Where am I? It's got, it's got a beer cave now. Yeah. Okay. And some fried chicken. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, then the Harry's. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I don't yeah. know who Harry is. Oh, that's being redone too. Yeah. Quite yeah. different. Um, unless there's something else. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming out. So I think you get back at midnight for my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, wow. 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 I'm sort of mentally tired. <laughs> Just a little. Thanks for bearing with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. I didn't realize it was California. I didn't tell me where. Oh. So, do you want me to stay on? Yeah, I think I, we're still in a meeting. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, we're still in a meeting. Okay, what, so, what are we going to do here? I, I think we got to ask for an extension. I mean, we've got a lot of like fine tuning. <laughs> right. yep. Yeah, I hate to agree with that. Uh, yeah. yep. Home stretch there, but. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I, I... well, and so let's just back up for one second, because as, as I'm sitting here going, oh, I read that it, it's as long as we make it right? right. So, I mean, we can hunker down. It, it, and I only say that because I mean, June 8th is what next week. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's that. Open anyone else's thoughts or feedback. Oh, on I think our biggest I problem is how we present this voters. Agreed. Can we just say from request oh. a month and just make ourselves say, okay, if we're going to do two meetings a week then or whatever, just get her done. I know. You want to do two okay. meetings a month in the month of June. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yes, and so these are the easy fixes. I think the biggest one is the what do we do to do right? And I think, I think, even if we give us to like, maybe September 1st, I mean, we get until November, so we kind of when you say like August 31st, August, 1st, that feels a August 31st, whatever, it's whatever, kind whatever of the same, but, same but, but, not but I think, yes, we need to really give some a lot of thought to how we're going to present this on a ballot. Um, and there's some, you know, like some of the details that we should go back in and look at. Mm -hmm. We should go back in and look at are there any contradictions? Um, I don't think we need to go back and make any major changes. I think we just mm -hmm. need to kind of kind of brush up and tune what we've done. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure it's 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 right. Because I think right now and I think even the last couple of weeks we've kind of been trying to rush things. And I don't want to rush to the same thing. I mean right. I yeah. Know, it would be one right thing if we were gonna vote on this at town meeting. That's mm -hmm. you know, right. okay. But we've we, we the bulk of our work is done. We just have little little things to clean up, and we'll definitely be ready mm -hmm. before November. Yeah, I agree with that. Open to any well, I discussion think that I present it to the selectmen, ask for an extension. Just say, you know, we've met with the lawyer. Mm -hmm. There's a meeting to do some fine tuning, and you know, I mean, he didn't trash he didn't trash our work. He yeah, just no. said we need to. No. He's actually yeah. been very. Um, positive about our work yeah. right from the beginning yeah. he's like wow so, so well, I mean, he's, he's also given us really good purview on what could cause the challenges yeah. which oh, no one wants oh, you know oh, and, right. and it is like hopefully we can find a way to, to mm -hmm. set the flavor of the town in the beginning mm -hmm. um not so not confused right right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because we don't want to hear for the next 10 years every time somebody sees our face. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I didn't know what I was voting on. <laughs> Did you go to the hearings? <laughs> no, I didn't. It was so confusing. Did you follow us on YouTube? No, I didn't. Yeah. So pissy. I don't remember so seeing you at one of our meetings. <laughs> yeah. mm. So what is, if if we agree to do that, then I would draft a memo and send it to everybody to just review all the time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to the board on our behalf. To When's their next meeting? Next Monday? Monday is the 48th. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get on the agenda or just submit something? Yeah, it should be Monday on the agenda. You want to vote on it. Mm -hmm. They're going to vote, yeah. What's that state? Yes. Agenda. It's got to be on the agenda. You can't vote, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that right. true? Uh, it's supposed to be true. It's the best supposed to be true. I have no problem going that up. Um, uh, email. It's got an agenda. No. First, and then. Okay. Yeah. Remember the select. <laughs> you don't want to hear this, but the selectman could say no. They could. Then we'll have to meet every day. Every day. Yeah. We'll, we'll have, have two days. days. Well, then we'll have two days to pull it up. We'll have sleepovers. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'll repeat that. <laughs> what would be you the barn. We're good. I, I, I can't imagine. Imagine. I can't well, imagine if they know that the lawyers yeah. are. And Bill's been yeah. present for the majority of our meetings, yeah. too. I think I feel yeah. supported by the yeah. board in this yeah. regard. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel like we're going to get shot I down. I, I feel agree. very supported by what we've done. We've done a great job. Okay, well, the thing is, don't, tell the don't, on. don't pat tonight. yourself don't on the back down. until the job is done. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, sorry but that. Not your first rodeo, is it? No, I've been there. And it's very frustrating. I hope never to do that again. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Permission. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, can we vote on that? I'll make a motion that we request to the Board of Selectmen to extend this commission until August 31st. I'll second. Any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, mm -hmm. so I will email to get on the agenda, mm -hmm. and then I will draft a memo that I'll share with everybody for approval prior to that. Yep. So we're looking. That's next. It's a week from. That's next week. It's next Monday. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, goodness. No, it's less than a week. Today was Tuesday, but it definitely felt like. Mm -hmm. well, what's our schedule? We got to come up with something. Yeah. What is our schedule? Well, I will say that I thought we were going to be done. So I did put up our reservation of the room on Thursday the 9th um, because Paul is doing a ballot clerk training. So from here, I think we can just determine which day works best for everybody and we'll go from there. Because I don't know that we had a schedule from there on out. We have something on this Thursday the 2nd or are we not? The seventh is open. <clears throat> Saturday. Oh, or or they have one of their meetings that night. I think there's a there's one of those meetings. Can, can, yeah, there's a the the public hearing on the seventh. Mm -hmm. Can we meet here? Yeah, I'd like to go. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I can't. Well, even if they need to meet, we can meet here on the ninth. But I won't be able to make it. But you could do here on the ninth. Well, I've, I've been training that night. Oh, yeah, you're going to that? Yeah. I'm yeah, the 8th? I'm available. 8th is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I won't make that one because I work till 8th. So. And Leela's not Almost. here to cover for me. So. The following one is voting on. Mm hmm. 14th and then down the 8th. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Does the 8th work for, I know it doesn't work for Amber. Does it work for everyone else? Yep, work for me. I might be late getting there, but I can make it. June 8th? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 6 or 6 6 30 would be better for me coming from Portland. Okay. I'll be flying in hot. Does that work for everyone? <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, that works. I mean, you guys can start six, but I no, that works. Six thirty, honestly, is that construction world is back up and booming. So, yeah. so that's on the eighth. Yeah, yeah. I will check and see. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll go a homework item. Your, what are your planning board? Your planning boards are the first, first and third. First, okay. Oh, so we should maybe. 
Something great on my face, Michelle. I'm not telling. As in tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a blank space. I can just have it. No, so just just a well, I had it on Ron and Dave earlier. Oh, everybody, get, everybody gets a turn. Mm-hmm. When they were talking. <laughs> What happened? What happened? I, I asked her if the camera was on my face. Oh. She said, oh, I said, I'm not on my face. As long as everybody gets a turn, I guess I'll I'll even aim it at myself at the end if that's so bad. Just stop right from this end. Just did. Okay. Oh, this is like four meeting. Like, why did I get six? Oh, my God. I did forward and then CC everyone on the email to Gerard for that chain and the copy and paste of 2.2.2. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Anything else that we should discuss today? Did we want to discuss the yellow highlights in the. Probably not until we project them, would be my thought, but I'm open to anyone else's. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Rod, since you're really awesome at coming up with words at the beginning, <laughs> um, and we just, I mean, do we want to think how we would address our genome when we need to figure out like the property rights thing in the beginning? I don't, I think we're good. I think we're fine we're with good. property yeah, rights so long as we, we take We just take the definition now. Take the definition out, we can do yeah. everything else. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Because the statement is pretty general. Yeah. I think it was, exactly. I think it was yeah. more the way that I, I phrased the question probably. Okay. okay. So it's just the definition. I, he, I think I his know. interpretation was that we scattered it throughout the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that we we defined yeah. Yeah. the world. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. Second. All right. Any discussion about that? <laughs> All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.